Welcome back to the channel, now about uploading more regularly. I recently got a new job where I've been working longer hours, so unfortunately I haven't had the time to edit videos as much, but I'm fully in my new routine now, which is why we're here now. What a life, would you be anywhere else? Probably, but we're here now, innit? Plenty of content to expect, plenty of goals to see, and plenty of deodorant cans being sprayed under undershirts. I'm still really confused by this, Brody, I'll be honest. Anyway, let's get into it. Our first game of the season was against a very strong Enfield United team in the league. And here's how we lined up. A few new faces to see. We had our new keeper, Jose, starting in goal. At the back, we had Max, Bren, Davos and Zach. In front of them in midfield, we had Monzi, Mike, Danny and Fabio. Then in the 10, we had Brody and up top was Paddy. Here's the bench too. Plenty of options going forward in this match. And a new management duo. Welcome. Kane and Geordie to your new partnership. Before we get into it though, could you please smash that like button, subscribe and share the content around. Much appreciated. Shimples. All right, let's get going. All right, a new season, a new game, a new start. We knew this was gonna be a tough game. We had to be 100% from minute one and, oh shit. <laughs> well, crap start, but at least the tackles were there. Well, yeah, if there's ever a way to start a new season, um, it's not that. Anyway, Gospel came forward here. Paddy touches the ball, but loses it to the Enfield player. Falls their central midfielder who plays a great ball out wide. Now, the camera doesn't quite pick it up here, but it's a chance for Enfield. Jose, from the goal kick, soon after that Enfield United chance. He plays it long. Danny gets a great flick on the ball. It's a bit of pinball and it eventually finds its way to Fabio. Fabio plays a great ball through to Paddy. Paddy, what can you do with it? He scores. Now, straight from kickoff, Enfield United opt to play it long and they find their man here. And the real question is, the Goss will get away with one. Now Danny, with the ball in the gospel half, he takes it down under control. Can he beat his man? He does. And then he plays it forward to Paddy. Paddy knocks it inside to Brody. Brody takes a good touch and eventually finds Fabio. Fabio with the ball out wide on the left. Fabio, what can he do with it? He looks to size up his man. Even though he's a small man, he finds Brody. Brody with the ball, plays it across. Oh, and Goss will get unlucky. Now what's Sunday League football without a bit of head tennis? Now as Brody wins the header here, Fabio seems to enter the multiverse. Now after Fabio came back from the multiverse, Enfield United had the ball on the left hand side. They looked to play it forward and it eventually found their winger. Their winger with the ball out wide on the left, he looks across it, he finds their other winger and... After going 2-1 up, Enfield United were also showing they were a threat from long throws, as you can see here. Now, Enfield United with the long throw again, with Enfield's answer to Rory Delap on a Sunday morning. They throw it in, it goes up in the air, and... Yes! Come on! Now, not ideal conceding from a long throw as Jose looks to play it long. Eventually, though, is mopped up by an Enfield United player. Number 10 tries to get his foot in it. Danny puts in the tackle. It eventually falls to the Enfield United. Number 7. Number 7 takes it out wide and. Oh my god! Now fair play to number seven, that was a hell of a goal and it was not ideal. What else was not ideal was giving away silly free kicks. Winner! Enfield United with the free kick. Why 
5-1 down in the first half in our first game of the season. I've never seen a gospel oak performance as bad as this. Surely it can't get worse. Yes! Yes! Well done! Now, after that sixth, we want a free kick soon after. Brody, with the free kick. Now, to be honest, at this point, I didn't know what to think. I did not know what to feel. As Enfield United come forward again, and number seven is unlucky not to grab the seventh. Now, please stand by as the customary handbags on a Sunday morning begin. You were told before the game to shoot, and it's not happening. Now we're having to make three subs. When I was more than comfortable with the 11 I started, I thought, ah, oh, these boys could possibly win the league. You can't win the half against a team that played, that finished below us last season. And the team's got better. You speak about integrity, boys, and you're getting out there, boys. You have to work harder. You have to get stuck in, boys. You're scared, why? Why are we scared? Why can we put a tackle in at one point, but then we can't run the next? You have to do it the whole time, or don't bother coming. Don't bother coming, because you're going to touch bench, boys. All of you. All of you. I can find 11 people and put them on right now, boys. Davos, I understand the header. It's fine. It happens. But it's communication. You should be told, man. You should have been told, man, and I'll check your shoulders. The header's your fault, but we move, you know? And it ain't just you. There's mistakes in every single one of them goals. So don't have your head down. You play well. But you need to get stuck in, boys. I told you, get stuck in early. We ain't doing it. We're doing it now. We're what seven one down, and it started not just from the back, it's from the front backwards and from the back forwards, boys. It's pouring all over the place. Now, team talks wise, I think I've had better tellings off from my mum as Enfield United come forward here and come really close early on. Now, after that chance, I'm not gonna lie. I hope this tackle will wake everyone up. Hey, 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 hey. Serious. Come on. After that tackle, Gospel won the corner and it's eventually cleared by Enfield. The ball finds its way to the Enfield midfielder here and he sprays a lovely ball out wide. He finds their forward, he drives forward. What can Davos do? Can he make the tackle? He puts him off and it's eventually saved by Jose, but there's complaints from Enfield. Now it doesn't quite show it here, but Enfield eventually went down to 10 men after the forward argued with the referee after the challenge from Davos was the comeback on. Now, could Gospel take advantage of Enfield United going down to 10 men as Jose takes a touch on the ball here. He takes another touch, but Enfield United press him and win the ball. He falls there number four, he takes it inside, he plays it inside. Can Enfield United score? They can't. And the ball is eventually cleared and it finds its way to Danny. Danny, driving forward, what can he do? He looks at his options, he's driving forward even more. He takes it to the left, he plays the ball to Jake. Jake takes a touch, takes it back, looks to play it across, finds its way to Jed and it's over. Now after such a poor half and after Enfield United going down to 10 men, it seemed like we were catching them on the break a bit as the ball sprayed out wide to Paddy. Paddy on the left hand side, what can he do? He beats his man, he takes it forward, he cuts in, he shoots and it's no cigar. Gospel growing into the game a bit more now as the ball's on the left hand side. Jed takes a touch, loses it, falls back out to Ivan and Gospel win a free kick. Jed with the free kick, looking to whip it in. He does, plays a great ball. And to be fair to Enfield United, that's great defending. Enfield United with the ball in their own half. They play it forward to their midfielder here. He looks up, looks to spray it, but Danny's there and he eventually finds Brody. Brody takes a touch and plays it back to Danny. Danny driving forward, what can he do? He finds Jake, Jake with the touch, Jake with the shot, Jake with his first goal. Now, after that goal from Jake, maybe, maybe, Gospel could get a few more consolation goals to make the scoreboard a bit less harsh. As number seven comes forward here, he shoots, and it's a good save from Jose. And with that last chance, that pretty much marked the end of the game. Much love to everyone still watching. If you haven't already, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Even leave a comment. I think I've clocked the algorithm a bit.
if you engage with the content of Gospel Oak, we do better. So, cheers. Thank you. Now, not an ideal start to the season. Here's how the table looked. Early doors, but still not great to have lost 6-2 in our first game of the season. It's fair to say the new management duo of Geordie and Kane had some harsh words to say after that game. A massive thank you again for tuning in and watching. Enjoy this team talk. It's embarrassing, really. I don't want to see it. And to be honest, if anyone doesn't have anything else to do, I think we should run some drills after the game. Problem is, boys, it looks like only a few of us are up for it every single game. Every single game, boys. You're brought along. In my eyes, this is one of our strongest squads in terms of football and ability. But you're all weak, boys. I'm going to be straight to you. First game of the season, you should be amped up for it. We spoke in pre-season, we're boss teams, had the intensity. First game of the season, boys, you turn up and you don't show up. You might as well have not come, you might as well have just handed them a win before we even got there. And that's from the first thing, from the first goal they conceded within 30 seconds. And there's no blame in boys. Mistakes happen, they happen once. Then we deal with it. We didn't deal with it at all, boys. It was poor from the first minute to the 90th minute, it weren't good enough, boys. There were glimpses of stuff, but if we can do it one time, we can do it a million times. What concerns me the most here from our team is that I think we're forgetting this is Sunday League football, isn't it? A lot of people are playing out there together. The opposition can sense that every time. From minute one, they were already behind us. They're already behind us because they can smell that fear. And once they can smell fear on a Sunday, they will eat you up every single time, no matter who you play against. Less than a handful of people were getting into people, boys. You just let one person, two people run the show. You should be embarrassed, boys. I'm embarrassed myself. And I ain't even touched the pitch. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Go on, James. Just, go on. Uh, I mean, I'm new here, so please don't let me get above my station. What's happened there, the first half, the first minute, it's happened to me before in games. It's a mistake. On this pitch, we're always going to make mistakes. But the reaction was mentally weak, wasn't it? We all heads went down, we felt sorry for ourselves. It was the best time to concede, the best time to concede the first minute because you've got 89 minutes to put it right. But instead we went into our show, we felt sorry for ourselves. But we've had the riot act now. It we all know it, it we didn't care enough. What I will say, it's important not to get too low, it's important not to get too high when it's good. The second half wasn't great, but we showed a bit of fight. We put a bit of pride, I think, in ourselves. We didn't just roll over like we were in the first half, okay? And that's got to be the minimum. The effort's got to be the minimum. There's five or six of us standing on the bench for the first half. Licking going, their lips, going, going, How easy is it to get into this side? Licking their lips. Yeah. Sorry. I've obviously taken a step back when it comes to managing the team. I, I quite physically just took a step back and watched from afar. <laughs> and I wanted to see, see, see what was happening from, from my own point of view. And from, from, from my point of view, it just looked like a soft touch. It looked really soft touch. They absolutely bullied you. That's where pride comes in. There's pride in the club and there's pride in our results and what we've come through and how the club is run. But for yourself, it's, I, I'm actually kind of lost for words of how, how badly you got bullied. Bullied. Absolutely bullied. I didn't, I didn't want to say it, but just the, because uh, I don't want to get too involved, but just blaming each other. It's childish. Really childish. Boys versus men, and that's what I'm going to leave it on. Self-reflect, fix up. New weeks. Uh, the new week is a new week. It's a new game. It's nil-nil when we when we start next week, um, and we go in. You and you give a hundred percent. Cannot cannot be boys anymore. Have to be men. And that's it. All right. All right.